telling you my absolutely awful experience ordering these Harry Potter wand makeup brushes so they all have the different wand ends on them and then they are different types of brushes on the top um, so you do get first I'm gonna like I think describe the brushes a little bit my a little, like quick opinion on them and then I'm gonna tell you my experience with who I ordered with and why it was awful and then I will get into the makeup tutorial so that's how this video was gonna go down okay so first off um, you get five brushes I had to like quickly count in my head uh, and you get different wands too you get um, a Voldemort's wand and that comes with a, a very small, like, flat, compact brush. You can use this to pat on color, especially it's really good in the inner corner. Or you can put concealer on this and, like, carve out little details like I have in the tutorial. You also get the Elder Wand that is Dumbledore's. Um, and it comes with this really large fluffy brush. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this just because it is so long like the bristles but it actually works really well for blending out makeup so especially if you're a beginner I think this is a really good brush for you then it comes with a typical angled brush which you can use for eyeliner or your eyebrows or whatever and it gives you Hermione's wand so that's pretty cool and then you do get a typical pencil end brush which is really good for just like packing on color in the outer corner and then you can blend it out with a different brush or whatever and this one I believe is Harry Potter's wand so that's pretty cool and then you get another fluffy brush but this one is angled and I also wasn't sure how I feel about this because I don't have any brushes that are like this but it's really good for getting in the crease and like windshield wiping back and forth and it blends really well so I actually also think this is a really good brush and I believe that this is Ron's wand it's kind of a this is the only wand that was like kind of hard to tell whose it was but if they gave you Harry and Hermione's obviously this one is Ron's it's just kind of like a bad rendition of it but you guys can look online and see what you feel but I'm like almost a hundred percent that that's whose wands these all are um, now I'm just gonna zoom you in on the brushes a little bit to talk about them more zoom you in on the brushes and my face hi how are you um, so obviously I've used these probably the best brush to be able to tell would be this one yes no maybe so uh, the bristles go from like a gray to a white so the ends of all these are actually white so you can tell how dirty your brushes are which I think is pretty cool uh, and they are super soft uh, compared to like all my other brushes they feel the same they're synthetic fibers but the only difference is they are a bit weighted and I did find when doing my makeup that it felt a little weird sometimes because they are so heavy so if you actually have to use a different brush not from this set you're like when you pick it up you're like whoa what the fuck because it's just so light compared to these ones so that does take a bit to get used to and they are also like heavier on this end than the brush end so if you're doing stuff like this it kind of like you're doing more work just because it does take a little bit more to carry this brush than like a normal brush but I still think they are super cool. They're also this like gunmetal gray, I think I would describe it as. Super metallic, I think that's super cool. I think for like an art piece brush, I think they're very interesting. I don't know if these would be everyday brushes, but maybe once you got used to them they would be just because of the weight that's distributed. Like this one is really heavy on the end, obviously because of the Voldemort wand, how it looks. So this brush is kind of a little bit more difficult to work with than like a regular brush, but if you're really into Harry Potter wands and or Harry Potter in general, these are still definitely definitely usable. I'm st I'm still definitely going to use them and I think they're super cool. Um, but overall, I do believe that they are fairly good brushes. The only thing, again, I would say is the biggest downfall is their uh, weight distribution is a little suspect. So I did wash these brushes the minute I got them just because whenever you order brushes 
Even if you buy them in store, always wash them. You don't know what kind of dust or bacteria or any of that business has gotten on them, so I always like to shampoo them before I use them. Ideally, I should probably use like 99% alcohol too just to definitely make sure they are clean, but I don't, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, but that might be something that I get into, especially if I just buy more brushes online just for safety reasons. I don't want any nasty shit from who knows where on my eyes. Yeah, that's not something I'm going for. Now we're gonna talk about my freaking experience ordering these brushes. I did like kind of a mini tell you guys about it in I Got Scammed Over Christmas because these brushes weren't a gift, but if they were a gift, a bitch, I would have been livid. I would have been so fucking pissed for how long these brushes took. It's ridiculous. But, but let's, let's just, Let's just start from the beginning, shall we? So I bought these makeup brushes from wandmakeupbrushes.com. I'm just gonna double check on my phone real quick. wandmakeupbrushes.com. Cause that's what I typed into Google and so it was the first thing that came up and I was like, okay, cool. And it's a very simple website and so, but it, like the brushes are all it sells and so it's like well that makes sense like it doesn't have to be I'm into coding so I know what it takes to make a website and if that's all you're gonna sell you don't need a super complicated website and a lot of um, businesses pop up like that when something gets really hot on the market they'll just that's the only thing they're selling because it's popular right now and I found this website also through an ad on Instagram so I had searched for it, found it, and then I'd also seen an ad on Instagram, so I thought it was pretty legit. I'm like, okay, like if they're spending money to sponsor, like, I'd assume <laughs> they're legit, but, you know, who knows. So I, s I sent my order November 20th? Ish, and on the web, it doesn't say how long it takes to ship on the website, but I emailed them and asked because I was just curious. Like, I didn't care how long it would take. I just like to know so that in my brain, if it doesn't show up, I can contact the company and be like, what the fuck, right? And the girl replied and she said it would take three weeks, about three weeks. And I was like, sure, that's fine, a month, whatever. So, I, they sent me an email after I'd ordered them, November 23rd, and they're like, your package is shipped. And I was like, okay, awesome. And then I replied to them about four weeks later, I believe, and I was like, hey. And mind you, I counted it, I, I did not include the weekend because I know the post office doesn't do anything on the weekend, so obviously they would not be shipping. When it says like five to ten business days, it means Monday through Friday, not including Saturday and Sunday. So I did not include that when I was counting out. And so I think it was like three and a half, four weeks after I ordered them, I contacted them and I was like, hey. Anyway, sorry. So I contacted the company about three and a half to four weeks after I ordered them and I was like, hey. I haven't received my brushes yet, like, I would either like my money back or I would like you guys to send them again because it's been this long, I don't think they're coming, like, I don't know if they're lost in the mail, like, I didn't get a tracking number, so I can't look up where they are right now. And the company is like, and when I went on the website, so what first happened is I found this, like, email that you're supposed to contact them, and I sent that. They didn't reply to that. So then I went on their website, and when I went on their website, they had said sold out, and I was like, fuck, like, what, like, am I not gonna get my brushes now, like, do they not have another one to send me, like, that's fine, but then I want my money back, so then I had to email them through their website, and then they replied, and I was like, yeah, so I either want my money back, or if you guys could send another set of brushes, and the girl replied to me, and she was like, yeah, we sent, we sent another set of brushes, it'll take, uh, 10 business days, like, sorry for the delay. And I was like, okay, and I was going to uh, a different province to visit my family for Christmas because it was it was around Christmas. It was like December 21st-ish. I texted them or emailed them. I didn't text them. We're not that close. Anyway, so I went to BC and I was like, oh, it should be around the time I get back. So when I got back, it hadn't quite been 10 business days, so I waited until it was like 12, 15 business days-ish. And so I emailed them again, and I was like, look, I didn't get my second set of brushes, and now I want my money back. Like, I think this is ridiculous. You said it was going to take three weeks, and like, now I ordered them mid-November, 
it's now mid-January, like, it's, or almost mid-January, you know what I mean? I'm like, mm, I, you know, I want some money back because this is stupid. Like, no one should have to wait that long. If it is going to take that long, that's fine, but then tell me. Don't make up a magic number like, oh, it'll only take three weeks, you know, and then it'll be there. <laughs> Like, tell me, like, oh, it might take two months. Like, I'd be like, okay, like, that's fine. I just don't want to forget about it because I'm not giving you my money for free. Like, that's ridiculous. And she replied back and she's like, well, we sent it with DHL and our tracking says that it's still in transit. Sorry, like, we can't give you any money back right now. And I was just like, if you had a tracking number, most companies that aren't super shady give the customer that tracking number. You know what I mean? Like, it makes, it made me feel like they were just like, oh, it's still in transit, like, sorry, we can't do anything about it. Like, it was, it was very unhelpful, rather than just giving me the tracking number so I can physically see it, like, I had to kind of just, like, trust their word. So I was, like, super pissed off, and I was, like, super, like, I'm not getting these brushes ever, and I totally just got scammed. Fuck my life. And then I checked my mail yesterday, so that would be... What day is it today? Uh, January 12th. And it came in this tiny, tiny box. And I was like, I don't even know what that is. When I picked it up at the mail, I'm like, I don't, I don't remember ordering something that would fit in a tiny little box. And the brushes were in it. Now, keep in mind, this brush was so small, it had actually bent the bristles of, I believe it was this brush. And they were all like splayed out and they just like you couldn't use it in the condition it came in so i had to wash it and i made sure to use hot water and like soak it really well and then i tried to like shape it as it dried which was ridiculous like why didn't they send it in like a bubble wrapped envelope do you know what i mean why did they send it in a box that was too small for it so overall my experience is awful and do not <laughs> i repeat do not order from onemakeupbrushes.com. It was an awful experience and I'm never ordering from them again. But these brushes are sold in a bunch of different um, stores and online shops. So I would recommend going to Graveyard Girls video here on YouTube because I'll try and link it in the description box below if I remember. Sometimes I don't remember. And because I, I watched her video and I don't think she had any problem receiving her brushes. A lot of people didn't, which is why I got so worried because I'm like, fuck, like, of course, I picked the one company that's just, like, scamming me for these brushes. I'm like, oh, fuck a duck. Like, that's my life. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely buy them from a different company, but because basically all these different companies order these brushes from a seller at wholesale price and then they all resell them for uh, retail price. So you're gonna get the same, or you should, I don't wanna like guarantee you anything, but you should get the exact same brushes I did. Uh, you'll just have to buy them from a different website because the one I used was very unhelpful and just kind of douchebags. But we're all gonna, we're all gonna be honest. Next one I do would like to get are the unicorn brushes. <sighs> I think those look so cool, but those ones are expensive, so I'm like, I don't need them right now, girl. I don't need them right now. And that's it. That's all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, this, like, story time and this tutorial. I don't know. There's a lot going on in this video. It's probably going to be super long, or I'm at least going to try to edit it so that it's not. But uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Sorry that this video is also uploading a little bit late. My schedule has just been a little, like, mom, mom, mom lately. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really like doing these reviews and I really like doing the vlog um, and monster tutorials. They're just like super fun and easy for me and I, I just really enjoy them. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it too or if you learned something. And please let me know below if you've had like a scandal or like scam over the internet cut like with buying something or certain companies because it's happened a lot to me lately and I'm just like, what is going on? Anyways guys, I will talk to you in the next video. I'm rambling. <laughs>